Super training, day one. We had day zero yesterday, so they got a little training coming in right from the plane. Now we got the first official day. So goal one is just to keep the glider up. But these guys are doing awesome. So now we're starting to work on uh, loading control, which is controlling the altitude of their butt using the glider. So, so let's look right here. If the body weight's on their legs, they're doing it wrong. They should be leaning back against the glider. So to do that, you pull both brakes just a little bit, and then when it starts pulling you, you lean back against it. A little more brake. You gotta keep a constant tug of war. So the glider is constantly pulling you, and you constantly lean against it to equalize. There you go. And small, tiny little corrections. Chest way forward, feet together, butt backward. Doing good, the wind kind of died down a little bit. Looking good, okay, let's move to the next here. It's looking good, keep working on it, keep that loading. A little more, keep that loading. Ooh, yeah, so a little more break, a little more break, because you got to get that lean going on. Now, smaller corrections, little half inch corrections. You're just kind of overdoing it. Okay, so once we get it above us, you just hold a little pressure and now small. Your brain wants to pull eight inches, but you really only need like a half inch. Okay, well I'm holding my hands way higher than that. The, normally. Yeah, you need a lot more pressure. Okay. And you're just making too big a correction. Okay. You're being too violent, and so the glider's swinging all over. See how small my movements are? Yeah. So just smaller. Now, notice how hard I'm pulling on your hands. That's how hard you need to pull on the brakes. So go ahead and pull until I'm not touching you. Okay. So pull down, little right, and hold, left, and hold. Easy, easy, a little quicker. The second you know where it's going, bam, little pull and hold. No, don't jerk and let off. Pull and hold until it corrects. There you go. Little both brakes and then lean against it. The most important training is actually that leaning. Because keeping it up, you could do that for a thousand years, but that's not what prevents a collapse. What prevents a collapse is your body leaning and maintaining a constant loading and tug of war with the glider. It's exactly the same and even more critical because when you start with a trike, the glider's gonna wanna first overshoot you. That's loading control. If you feel those brakes go to zero pressure, you know you're about to get your butt whooped, and so you have to immediately get that pressure back. So it's all about maintaining a steady pressure on these brakes, and that is exactly what a trike is gonna need. Because if you let that glider unload with a trike, it gets even more violent. The brake pressure goes to zero, bam, that's when you're gonna take a collapse. Then it'll fall behind you, open, and rip you right over backwards. So it's critical that we get that leaning going on. And once you get that, then you'll pretty much never take a collapse in the first place because you'll have the reflexes to maintain that loading. So feet side by side, pull both brakes until it drags you, and then lean against it. Now you don't need to carry your entire body weight, just leaning so your body weight isn't straight up. You just don't want your body weight above your feet. Left brake, quarter inch, right brake, palms down, left, both brakes, both brakes, keep it loaded. Bring your feet side by side. There you go, both brakes, both brakes, see how you're falling backwards? Yeah. Anytime you're falling backwards, you gotta stop your body with the brakes, not your feet. So don't catch yourself with your feet, catch yourself by pulling brakes and bringing your body to a stop. Okay, both brakes about another inch. Pull both brakes, load it. Stop staring straight up. Relax, left, right brake, right, left. Quarter inch, small, you pulled like three inches. So get it down to half inches. Quarter inch of right, left, right, left, right, small. Both brakes, lean against it. Lean feet together, side by side. Lean that butt against it. Little both brakes, both brakes. There you go, left. Smaller correction. So you pulled like seven inches, and so you're over correcting and it shoots off the other way and you're just doing a pendulum. You're a metronome. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so you got a smaller corrections than your brain thinks you need. 
pull both brakes and lean against it. Both brakes. There you go. Small corrections. Left brake. Quicker, quicker. You just move too slow. Feet together. You're doing the splits. Right. Okay, little smaller corrections. You're making too big. Left brake a half inch. Right hand up a half inch. There you go. And right brake a half inch. Left brake a half inch. Now, you're holding your arms up. You got no loading at all. Oh. You got it. So those collapses are not enough brake pressure. Okay. So you're standing with your arms like all muscled up. You've got to relax your arms, hang the weight of your arms from the brakes. Okay. All those collapses is because you're not leaning back and loading the glider. Okay. You've got to load the glider, keep a consistent, steady pressure on the brakes. Good. Okay, go ahead and turn left, left brake, and I'm going to open it for you. Hands up. There you go, left brake. Now relax. Right brake, right brake. Don't stumble around, just wait and walk smoothly. There you go. Little left, little right. Smaller, smaller, smaller. Little right brake, half inch. When you pull one, the other goes up the same half inch. Right brake a half inch, left hand up a little bit. See it fix instant when you let the other hand up. So it, uh, it's like pulling both sides of a steering wheel. It does nothing. One hand has to move up, the other moves down. Okay, little both brakes. Right brake, both brakes, little both brakes. Little both. You gotta keep the glider loaded. You just don't have the pressure. Rest your arms on the brakes. Left hand up. Easy, hands up. Gentle, small. So you pulled you pulled two feet of brake. Correct with small little half inches. Right brake, half inch, turn right. Half inch of brake. See you fix it with small, and then it doesn't shoot over the other way and flip upside down. So small little corrections. Your brain wants to bury the brake, and you have to force a small, smooth, consistent correction. You're not holding enough brakes again. Left hand up a half inch, and left brake a half inch. Left brake, both brakes, both brakes, pull both brakes. Left brake, right hand up a half inch. Both, you gotta rest the arms on the brakes. So keep a steady pressure on those brakes. You're not too much, but steady. Correct. Yeah, all the collapses are because you don't have enough brake pressure. But don't stall it either. Left brake a half inch, right brake a half inch. Both brakes, now you're not holding your, rest the arms, there you go. Right brake a quarter inch, just a tiny bit. Little left, a little quicker. Right brake a quarter inch, left brake a quarter. Nope, that's four inches. Small, quarter inches, quarter inches, small. More brakes, you're unloading the glider again. Both brakes, one inch, pull both brakes. Right brake a quarter inch. Small little corrections, feet side by side, so you don't stand spread eagle. There you go, ounce of right. Chest forward, butt backwards, don't stare straight up. Left brake, small little correction. So you didn't move the other brake, you're just not doing it. When the glider goes that way, you pull one brake and the other brake goes up the exact same amount. So you pull right a quarter inch, left hand goes up a quarter inch. Right, you're pulling right, but you're not putting the left side up. So it, it can't respond. Again, it's like pulling both sides of a steering wheel. You get nothing. So one goes up, one goes down. Make the correction. Quarter inch of left until it responds. There you go. Both brakes, you're just not loading the glider. So that collapse was not enough brake pressure. Keep her loaded, keep her loaded. Left hand up, left hand up. Nice. Okay, we're keeping the glider up, but we need to keep it loaded more. So both brakes until it drags you, then lean your butt against it a little bit more. So both brakes right there. There you go, not so hard. Smidge less, just a little less. There you go. Yep, palms down. There you go. And small, tiny little corrections. You're doing really good with keeping it up. We need to, but the most important is keeping your butt up and keeping that loading. Because you can yank brakes all day for left and right, but if you're standing lock-legged, boom, collapses. So it's super important that you're constantly carrying your body with the glider. There you go. If you fall backwards, add more brake. If it's dragging you, ease off the brake. Constantly managing the altitude of your body using the glider. Both brakes. Both brakes as you fall backwards. Little there. Yep, a little more. All right, ease off. 
There you go. A little right, left, small little quarter inch corrections. Brakes, both brakes, both brakes. So as you fall backwards, boom, another little inch of brake. And small little corrections, it doesn't take a lot. And if you start getting drug like that, ease off maybe a half inch just to where it stops dragging you. Correct, yeah, right there where your body is constantly in a tug of war with the glider. Both brakes. See, that's beautiful. Every second you spend doing that is literally expert level stuff. That's, it's beautiful. That's where the real skill is. That's what it takes to prevent collapses before they ever happen. Ooh, yeah. So, as, if you're... Yeah, no, it should be in front of you. If you look up, you should see sky, not glider. Yep. Yep. You can also look out here. You don't have to look up. There you go. That's great. Very nice. Control the altitude of the butt cannot afford to take collapses when you're going to launch or it just gets really ugly you know, and same in the sky you don't want to be taking collapses you want to be able to control it now you can always get hit with something that'll cause a collapse anyway but that's why we fly dominators so that it'll pop right back out hands up hands up hands forward run backwards break hands up hands up an inch and break an inch smoother so you're overdoing it you're going from no pressure to too much Little smoother, smaller reactions. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Left brake, easy. Right brake. There you go. Little both brakes until it picks you up. Right there. There you go. Left hand up. Left hand up a quarter. Bingo. Yeah. Yep. Smaller correction. Your brain wants to yank eight inches. You got to make it a half inch. Yep. Oh, beautiful. That's it. Right there. Hold that butt just like that. You fall back. Break. 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 Both breaks. There you go. Lean against it. Lean. Get that lean going on. It doesn't have to hold your whole body weight. You just have to lean. Beautiful. Doing great, man. Doing great. Super great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. That loading control is everything. That's what saves lives people taking collapses is because they just simply never learned how to load the glider properly and that's a skill you got to learn from the ground not from the sky super critical that you learn that but it takes 25 to 60 hours to really learn how to control a glider 25 to 60 hours where almost every other school out there you can't even call them schools you're getting between zero and three hours not 25 to 60, zero to three. So they, you train somewhere other than super training, you absolutely will not have actual skill with the glider. So very, very important that you get real actual control of that glider that comes from real actual training. Buying training is all about buying skills. So when you're looking for an instructor, you wanna look very closely at the skills of the students that they're training. If they can maintain, see how his butt's leaning? That's what we're looking for. If they're not doing that, if they're standing lock-legged, they're literally doing it wrong and backwards. So let's go to the next guy. Let's get her done. 